What are you most looking forward to tonight? Uh, winning, hopefully. I mean, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know that it's going to happen, but if it does, I'll be thrilled. And what were you doing when you found out you were nominated? Um, How did you celebrate? I was, uh, you know what I did? I, the first, when I, right when I found out I got nominated, I went on Facebook and I shared it with my fans because yeah. that's why I'm nominated. And we started literally a year and a half ago with like 300 Facebook fans and now we have 150,000. Wow. Just word of mouth kept building and building. and. So it's it's I we started it together and we continue this together and we're gonna continue it together and I share it with them. It's so how do you use social media to you know let your fans know about new music or how does it affect your interaction with your fans? I interact with them every single day. I mean I'm on Facebook literally every single day talking with them. It's not just a go buy my CD or I'll be here. It's like what are you doing? So I actually I call them my friends. I had that R. It's kind of cutesy but it's sort of my way of saying you're not just fans. We're kind of friends. So because we have that relationship. And um, the song That's Beautiful to Me, what inspired that? Um, a, you know a, a real life situation. I mean I, I found that as I was thinking about my ex-girlfriend Later on, I started thinking that all the things that I really missed the most about her, that I found the most beautiful, were the things that I found to be annoying while I was in the relationship. And I realized that had I maybe stuck around longer, you, you realize that those, you know, in the re in relationship, those kind of things like the fact that she says, honey, give me roses, but don't buy red. You know, she needs 46 pillows all over the bed. It's like, it's annoying, but you go, that's her, I love her, you know. Yeah. So what are some things on your iPod that you're listening to right now? Ooh, on the iPod, I listen to everything from literally Billy Joel to Black Eyed Peas to Metallica uh -huh. to Delamitri to Michael Bublé to Blake Shelton uh -huh. to uh, everything. I mean, literally, it just, I mean, anything, whatever pops up, I have 80,000 songs. And if you could collaborate with any of them, who, who would it be? If I could collaborate with one person, I'd like to collaborate with Billy Joel. I would just love to just have one writing session with him. But probably the Billy Joel back when he was drinking. Yeah, That'd be a little bit more fun. I don't know if he's not so fun now, but it'd probably be a lot more fun back then. Yeah. Maybe I can get him to fall off the wagon. It'd be a good song no, title. <laughs> Thanks so much. Good luck tonight. Thank you. So Thank much. you.